Welcome to a revolutionary and innovative new technology in multidimensional mineral creation. Hello, my name is Peter C. Nuthall, and it is an honor to introduce the world's first alternative metal created and transmuted from water. We are honored to introduce a revolutionary new evolution in universal matter transmutation that we have named Multiverse Transmutation Technology. And what is this new technology? It is the omnipresent multiverse ether resurrected and recreated into the illusionary third dimensional reality. When the four base elements, earth, air, fire, and water, are combined and folded as one with the universal ether, Miracle Light Aqua Crystal Metal is resurrected. Transmutation is the power to alter the forms and structures of elements into anything else either completely or partially in a permanent or temporary state of being. Everything perceived and acknowledged as life is in a constant state of transformation. Therefore, everything that goes around must come around within the sphere of light. What you're looking at here is the lead oxide treated in the mirror light water. What we're going to do with this water right now is we're going to place it into a stainless steel pan. And we're going to turn up the temperature and cook it very low so you can visualize yourself and see the transitions that will take place in this frying pan. I think you'll find it interesting. Here you can clearly see something's happening in the stainless steel pan. The lead has now come out of suspension, has been melted at a low temperature, and if you notice, is well, it's looking very beautiful. Beautiful oxide colors, you'd have to say. You must admit, it sure looks beautiful. The gold oxide is breathtaking to visualize. What we're gonna do right now is pour the lead out into a ladle and which, we'll, which is called lead dory. And here we put some in a little spoon so that you can visualize the beautiful colors of this lead dory. And when you can see it like this in the lead, it uh, means you got a lot of something. And as you can see, the colors are very beautiful for a lead oxide. Now what we're going to do is we're going to take the lead out. We're going to do this by the cupellation process. That is, we're going to put lead into a bone ash material and cook it in the oven at about a thousand degrees Celsius and remove all the lead. This will be cooked for about an uh, hour and a half and what comes out looks something like this. All the lead is removed and sitting here now are beautiful noble element beads of special interest. Here's a close-up view. Pretty good looking, and now this has to be tested to see really what's inside of it. Many a soul has tried to achieve the grand quest of the alchemist, and there have been many charlatans who have professed to have found it. Therefore, one must conclude either I'm a charlatan, a con artist, or mentally insane, or I'm for real. We have conducted a multitude of tests, such as fire assay, chemical extraction, and forensic analysis by way of SEM. There is, without a question of a doubt, noble minerals of special interest. 
The following information is for you to peruse. These are the SEM test results, where they were tested. You'll have to read them, and I think you'll find them very informative. Imagine for a moment gold, platinum, rhodium, palladium, silver transmuted from lead oxide. Unbelievable. Modern science has confirmed without a question of a doubt the presence of gold, platinum, rhodium, palladium, silver, and it appears to be lots of it. One point three million US per one metric ton of miralite treated lead oxide powder. Wow, this is incredible. <laughs> 